Welcome back to the Assetto Corsa Fanboy Association on the Game of Muscle YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to tell you the five apps that I find myself using the most and what I believe to be the best applications you can install to Assetto Corsa to augment your driving pleasure and driving experience inside of the simulator. I begin with Sidekick because in my opinion, this is the god of all applications for Assetto Corsa. If you're not going to install any other app or use anything else on your screen, definitely check out Sidekick. The reason I say this is because Sidekick is the Swiss army knife of applications and compresses all possible pertinent information that you could want to know that would typically require a minority report like layout of applications on your screen into a single, really sexy, sleek little bar. The bar itself contains information such as if you've got DRS, if you've activated that DRS, if you've got ERS, or if you've activated that ERS, your force feedback, and if your force feedback's clipping, your pedals, which pedals you're using, your tyre temperatures, if your tyres have baked and you're now ready to cook an English dinner on them, your split, your sector time, your best personal lap time, your current lap time, what gear you're in, the speed you're travelling at, a ginormous glowing line to let you know when you should be changing gear, and a whole bunch of other things. Needless to say, it's pretty bloody fantastic. And if you don't want the clutter, but you still want to be more knowledgeable than Mahatma Gandhi, it's the way to go. Second on our list of must-have apps, Helicorsa is there because it keeps you aware. Aware of those drivers that are likely to put a tyre in your face. Basically, all this app does is give you a top-down view, hence the name, Helicorsa, of the cars around you and really does give you a pinpoint precision awareness of what is going on around you. It's a sort of three or five meter radius of your car that you can see represented in 2D and uh, not only does it allow you to avoid crashes, especially if you like to torture yourself with public server racing, but it gives you that illusion that you're also playing Tetris whilst driving, which is a fantastic bonus. Nicely as well, at the start of a race, the app does have a tendency to glitch out a little bit, giving the effect of having a German disco techno nightclub on your dashboard. This might seem like a bug, but in actuality, it's just a way to alert you to what's likely to happen to the vehicles around you after T1. If you don't have Sim Racing System installed, then you're missing out, quite simply. Sim Racing System brings ranked multiplayer racing that happens every hour, as well as uh, premium races that happen typically once or twice every evening, to Assetto Corsa. Basically, once you've got an account on SimRacingSystem.com, which you can just sign up to for free, you can then sign into races with your results being tracked, giving you a safety rating, a ranking and a score, which then allows you to sign up to other races and puts you into relative splits depending on how good you are. The advantage of this, of course, is that you end up with far, 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 far better racing than you'd get on any public server. All with the advantage of not having to commit and sign up to a race league that might only take place once a week. As an added bonus, the top split races are typically live streamed on the Sim Racing System YouTube channel, so you can go back and watch how well you did, assuming that you were in those top splits. Make sure you sign up for Sim Racing System on the website, download the app, and then sign up for the races, and you'll typically find us in them as well, so uh, please don't drive into me, and please be slower than me. If you ever find yourself joining a public server or sim racing system races and it turns out that you're a good three seconds off the pace, there's a fairly decent chance it's because not only are you rubbish at driving such as myself, but you also have an absolute garbage setup. Of course, you could tinker away and spend your evening twiddling with those knobs and dials, or you can get the setup market application, install it into your game, and just join a track and then click the setup market icon, download a setup that's been recommended by users, and enjoy a good one and a half, two, maybe even three second boost in lap time because someone's done all the setup work for you. At this point in time, the setup market application is probably the easiest and most convenient way to get decent baseline setups for a Seto Corsa for any given car and track. Make sure you go to the Setup Market website, create an account there, and also download the application separately so you can get those glorious, beautiful, I'm too lazy to make my own setup, setups that get you one to three seconds in performance. 
And the last app that everyone should have installed their Assetto Corsa is the Radiator Springs RSR Live Timings application. This app was specifically designed to help deflate your ego. You'll do a good lap, you'll think, wow, that was impressive, I'm really fast at driving simulators, I'm practically air to center. You'll then look at the RSR timing app and you'll see that you're about 500th in the world. Begin crying, format your C drive and give up sim racing for life. Aside from that though, it is a really nice streamlined application that lets you see how bad you are compared to the rest of the world. Not only can you see where you place inside the game, but times are also updated on a website along with the car, the track or the details and a ranking associated with people that have done multiple laps on different tracks. So there's loads of stuff to keep you engaged if you happen to prefer doing hot lapping than racing against other drivers online. Personally, not only do I use this app to deflate my ginormous e -peen, but I also use it to uh, see if I'm actually getting up to pace in a vehicle and to see if the setup that I downloaded from the setup Audi Tesco supermarket is indeed actually a good setup or not. So make sure you've got the RSR live timing application and uh, pay additional attention to the incredibly sexy voice that's uh, in that app. It, it, that voice will change your life. What, what an amazing voice. Ab absolutely fantastic voice. Now, uh, I hope this video was useful for you guys. It should have been. It's a top five app video. That's about as useful as you can get. Um, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Don't forget to check out, check out, check, check, check. Don't forget to check out our other videos on the YouTube channel. Likey, dislikey. Put your suggestions in the chat, uh, in the chat. This isn't a live stream. In the video comments box underneath the video <laughs> put your suggestions and i will pin the uh, the good ones or i'll add them to the pinned comment at the top to help everyone else out until the next video guys thanks for watching and goodbye the marshals are saying you cut the track so that lap won't count